Uh, Peter, you must be absolutely delighted with the way your loan spell at MK Dons is going. No, yeah, definitely, definitely. I think um, I remember saying in an interview that I'd done earlier on in the season about uh, the fact that I'm, I'm enjoying my football and the uh, most important thing about it for me is to enjoy my football. Uh, it always helps when I have a, a team that we have here. Everybody backs me on the pitch. Everybody helps me off the pitch. Uh, so does the gaffer as well. So, yeah, for me, I'm enjoying my football right now. I couldn't have asked for a better club to be at. Peter, what's happened? The goals have dried up. <laughs> um, funny, funny enough, funny enough. Um, I, I'm I'm more annoyed about the fact that I haven't been getting enough assists than than goals. Funny enough, I think I've been speaking to uh, people like Troy and people like uh, Mo Issa, and me basically just saying like, look, like I need to be getting a lot more assists for them. I get myself into the right areas, but you know, at the beginning of the season, it was more of a thing of me looking to score. Now I feel like for me, I'm trying to get a lot more assists, but don't get me wrong, uh, the goals dry, dry enough, it's not, it doesn't feel good for me. I feel like I've lost my shooting boots, but you know, hopefully I get them back. Uh, kidding, of course. I think the amount of goals you scored from your position is pretty decent. But um, p playing in the side at the moment, there, there must. Like, we, when we talk to the players on, on the, these pre-match presses, we talk about the way that the side's playing and there is frustration over results like, say, for instance, Tuesday and one or two of the results that haven't quite gone the side's way. But the football's good and there's still that belief that the playoffs are very much a possibility. No, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, as I said, uh, us as a team and us as, as individuals, we know that all we can do is look forward to the next challenge. Uh, we're not going to go and jump the jump the boat and think about four, three, four months down the line when we have games that we need to sort out here and now. So our concentration is the next game. We're never going to be happy with drawing. For us, uh, us drawing a game is like us losing a game. So we're always disappointed. We always want the three points, especially when we're playing very good football. We need to have something to take home with us. And the three points for us is the most important thing. What about when the transfer window comes around? For a player like you, you're obviously on loan from Luton. Um, there's obviously a possibility that Luton could recall you. I don't know whether that's going to happen, but there could be a possibility that that happens. And then there are other players coming into the to the side and one or two moving. It's just a transitional period. How, how do you cope with that? It's just, is it, from your perspective, is it just part and parcel of football? No, yeah, definitely. It's part of the game. It's part of the game. But uh, what I've learned com coming through the years is just about concentrating on where you are here and now. As I said, what I, where I'm here and, here and now is I'm an MK Dons player. I'm on loan to MK Dons and my focus is the game tomorrow. That's the only thing I'm thinking of, just like anybody else in our team or anybody else in football in general when it comes to transfer windows. They always just need to make sure they're focusing on the next game and the next challenge. You can't you can't think too far ahead because then you get distracted with what's going on in the moment. And I suppose for any players coming in, it just it's it's a case of the, the squad you kind of um taking them in and, and welcoming them. And then obviously for that competition for places is always good as well, isn't it? For new players coming in, it just maybe sharpens people up in the positions where the player's been brought in. No, definitely, definitely. As I said earlier, like when I done an interview at the very beginning of the season, I said uh, me coming in made T play better and me coming in and me playing good also made T make me better. So right now there's a big competition and that's that's what you need at the end of the day, in my opinion, a good side. Every good side has loads of competition all around the pitch because you need to be able for other people to do the job as well as other people do the job as well. So yeah, people coming in, we know that they're... The club's going to get in the right people and we know that they're going to fit into what we're doing already. And as I said, it's a welcoming club. So for us, it's just about anybody coming in, knowing that they can just focus on their football and they get the back end of the whole team and the squad and the manager. Accrington Stanley on the road next then and a, a real opportunity to try and get back to winning ways. But a side that have come up with some really good results this season, a strong team, Accrington. No, yeah, definitely, definitely. You know what you're going to get from Acton. They work hard and they're always going to give you 100%. It's never going to be an easy game. But well, it's, and no game in this league is going to be an easy game, in my opinion. But as I said, it's just about us making sure that we have a good performance tomorrow. And I always say when when we play games, I always feel like we need to make sure we stay in the uh, W column. We didn't win the last game. We drew. Uh, so right now we're not in the W column. So I feel like our focus needs to be to get back into the W column. Nice one. Thanks, Peter. Cheers. Thank you. You've got some pretty uh, good experience of coming up against the new signing Theo, uh, who joined the club today. When you uh, you played against him at Hillsborough, what 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 can you expect from um, from from Theo now that he's uh, he's joined MK Dons? Uh, no, I think I think Theo will will love his time here. At the end of the day, um, he's gonna he's gonna be here and be able to express himself one hundred percent with no one 
him, or him not having to feel anyone being on his back or nothing like that. I think they feel he's a great player. I uh, played against him myself this season and it was a very great battle when me and him played against each other in uh, Sheffield Wednesday. And for me, it was a very good challenge because I'm coming up a player that I'd say, in my opinion, was possibly the most skillful player I played against this season and very hard to handle. But having him on our team is always going to give us a bonus now. And it's just about us as players understanding who we're playing with and helping him to the best of his ability. A sigh of relief then that you're not going to have to play against him again later this season? Now, I, funny, funny enough, I wanted to play against him again this season. Because, you know, as I said, it was a very good challenge. And for me, when I have a challenge like that, I always look at, I always look to do it again because I want to see, you know, certain things I might not have liked that I've done in that game. I want to see if I've worked on it and I can improve myself. But as I said, you know, I'll be training with Theo every day and Theo will be training me every day. And I, I'm one of them players that I think Theo will notice quick, like very quick that in training, I'm always going to be on to him in terms of 1v1s and things like that because he's going to make me a better player and I want to make him a better player. But that's what you're going to get from everybody in the team anyway. Just finally, um, you say you're really loving your football here. It's coming across in, in your, your chat with us. Uh, but you, you feel you're hitting your targets when you when you came here. You obviously would have set yourself uh, uh, a lot of goals and, and ambitions for the course of the season. Do you feel you're hitting them so far in that first half of the season? No, yeah, definitely, definitely. Like, funny enough, um, even the joke that was said earlier about me drying up with the goals, like, funny enough, uh, yeah, like, honestly, I, I'm on the right track. But for me, it's, it's not about just hitting my targets. I want to do better than the targets I've set. So even though I've set my targets, I'm trying to get better than my targets. I'm not content with just my targets. Because at the end of the day, if I just hit my targets, I'm content with that. Then I could hit that and then just rest for the rest of the season. I don't want to do that. I want to smash my targets as best as I can. And right now I'm on the right track. But there's always work that needs to be done. And that's what we're trying to put in every day. Everybody in the training grounds trying to put that in. So yeah, that's the most important thing for us.